Well, good morning. It's the start of another day. Today, my plan is to get back up on the roof and connect all the solar power panels. So I've been trying to get all of our supplies together that we're going to need. So I'll run through these with you now because I probably won't do it on the roof. So these are our tie-down kits that we'll use for the cabling once we've actually put the cabling down. So the tie it down, there's a little sticky thing. So this will help us keep everything anchored to the roof. Oh nice, I didn't notice this before. They actually have screws as well. So I could screw down these zip tie anchor points. <coughs> nice, got that. We have our connections for each solar wire. So solar panel to solar wire, then we're gonna click in to the wire. It's got a, already has a pre-attachment on it. Just click, make a connection right here. And then I will be able to uh, do shrink wrap to the, the wire from there. We've got that. This is the wire of which I keep speaking. This is the gray wire. Uh, so this will run from each solar panel to the roof combiner box. My positive and negative terminals that I'll install into the uh, combiner box. These are the, whatever we call it. They're not screws, but I'm gonna call it a screw. It's early. Uh, these will go on top of the combiner box so I'm ready to screw it down. So I'll screw it down today. Uh, last thing I would do once we verify everything is functional, I'll go back to all of these spots where we've bolted it down and I'll put Dicor on top of each of these to keep water out of it. Heat shrink. Uh, I have two kits that came from AM Solar and then I have uh, our own original solar panel of which AM Solar gave me nothing. So, yeah. Uh, just kind of building my own panel for that, our own little part kit with butt splice, hink shrink, hink shrink, and then voltmeter. So I don't know the polarity on the existing panel, so I'll cut the wires and then we'll check DC voltage uh, and figure out which is the positive and which is the negative terminal. Overall, trying to assemble everything so I only have to make one trip up and hopefully one trip down when I'm done. I know I'll need to go up again after this. Uh, like I said, I'm not doing the die core today. Uh, and then even if I were to figure everything, configure everything correctly today with all the wires and all of that, uh, I know that I need to go back up again. Some of the areas that I've been moving around, I've scuffed up the existing die core, so I'll need to go back up, scrape that, and put down new die core. That's our plan for this morning, so let's do it. Well, hey everybody, welcome to uh, this week's, uh, what was it called, Mystery Theater? What was it called, Mystery Science Theater? It was some show like in the 80s or 90s where it was like these two shadows, two like two guys like aliens in a movie theater <laughs> and they would watch movies and then comment on them. Like you'd see them like the lower corner of the screen. Okay. Not that different from what we're doing. All right then. So right here, this is the solar combiner box. So, I got to a point where I'm taking everything up and down or trying to take as much up and down on to the roof in a bag as I can. So right here, um, these are heat shrinks that I'm putting over the connectors. So we've got one of the solar panel wires coming in right here. This is the magic cord from uh, AM Solar. Uh, they really like it because it's so flexible. Honestly, now that I've used it, compared to the other wires, I really like it too. Super, super flexible and easy to work with. So I'm stripping wires here uh, for both ends. So one end would connect to uh, the wire coming off of the solar panel. You see it there, it's right next to the jacket, uh, the heat shrink jacket. And then the other end would go into the solar combiner box. So last week, uh, we are actually attaching the solar combiner box to the roof. So you can see that's done. And you can see our die core. I like how you say everything plural. Yeah. Well, I guess you really can't see me pointing, but in your mind right now, I'm pointing at the, this box. 
So doing heat shrink right here. Uh, this is three quarter inch uh, heat shrink. So really I'm just heat shrinking the connections that I just made. So I've got a crimper. So, and then I have little things you use with a crimper. So I squeezed it and it crimped between the two wires. So now I've got the, from the solar panel, we're running a wire into the combiner box that I'm connecting on the positive and negative side. So yeah, cutting some more wire here. Uh, if there's anything that would ever, you know, like encourage me to lose weight, uh, it might be seeing all of these chubby ass <laughs> shots from, from the roof. It's just the way you were sitting, dear. Yeah, yeah, just the way I'm sitting. Mm -hmm. So I think in hindsight, I think something I would have done differently here, I probably would have done all of these connections on the ground uh, as far as, you know, it might have wasted some, some of this cable, the gray cable, but I might have, you know, put, you know, maybe tried to measure with a string, like how much do I actually need on the roof for each one of these boxes, but maybe it would have made life a little easier for me <clears throat> if I had done all of this work on the ground and then just carried everything up uh, with it already connected to the solar panel. Then I could have sat and worked on this in my leisure. Oh, because you have so much to lose your time. Well, yeah, but this was just freaking hot. Oh yeah, it was such hot weather. Yeah, and I can tell from looking at this, like we were right next to like the blackberry bushes. Hey, there's your dad. Oh, hey, there, there's my dad. I was gonna say, uh, Nice mask around your chins. Thanks. Pulled it down for the picture. <laughs> so once in a while I mentioned, yeah, I've got some tool for my dad or this for my dad or whatever. Uh, so Noel and I were hiking the Pacific Crest Trail in 2019 and my parents had like a health issue. So we came back and helped them out. But to compress a long story, we ended up selling their house and my parents moved into assisted living and memory care facility and he didn't need any of his tools. And honestly, when we were there, we had already sold our house. Everything we had was in storage. So I freely went through whatever tools he had and pilfered them <laughs> before we had a garage sale. Yeah. So that reminded me because this like yellow handled like wire strippers, those are from him. Mm, that's fun. So it's kind of nice once in a while to have something pop up. And I'm like, oh yeah, well, that's his. Yeah, that uh, X-Acto blade right next to it. That was from him too. Hmm. Yeah. She'd be glad it's getting some use. Yeah. So anyway, doing more connections here. So on those, uh, the bus bars you saw there, <clears throat> one of the challenges I've had throughout the whole project uh, has been that those bus bars kind of rock forward on their own. Uh, they're not really seated that well in there. So I actually ended up talking to AM Solar and I was like, hey, like these are kind of loose. Like they're constantly like popping up. And they're like, oh, we've never heard that before. Uh, so I think long-term, ideally, I'd like to get something to like glue those down so they're not like moving around on us. That would be helpful. So here, making another connection. Heat shrink. Have you seen inside the combiner box before? I haven't Why seen any of this before. No. Oh. So this is your first time. What do you think of the combiner box? I think you did a good job. Yeah. Combining things into one box. It's <laughs> <laughs> a talent I have. Looks like you put a lot of wires into one box, so I guess that's what it's supposed to do, combine them. Yes. Good job. Yes, it does. Oh, look, um, looks like I'm wrapping something up. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I'll look I'll underneath. Your hat. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, Rocking yeah. it. About to do something. Cute butt. Mm, yeah. Oh, nope. Everything's coming back out. <laughs> oh, all right. Now I got to put the lid on the combiner box here. So the lid's on, now we gotta tighten everybody down. Uh, make sure it's nice and tight. Fascinating. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this, oh no, I'm like, oh, what are these parts? Hmm. Are they extra? Do I have spare? Hmm. Oh, what should I do with this? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. So actually what these are, these are, uh, they're tie downs for the roof. So for all the cabling, uh, we put the, essentially it's a zip tie that goes around the cable and it attaches to, handy. yeah, <coughs> whatever that thing is and locks it down in place.
Well, I'm on to what should be my last few tie downs. The tie downs really, structurally, I don't think they do anything. Uh, really, this is about trying to make sure your cables don't rattle when you're driving down the road. Other than that, other than that, I don't think they have much purpose. These little, I don't know, uh, zip ties. Got like a little spot here for a screw to go through. Shit. That's what I've been doing. I, I've not used zip ties like this before where you screw them down. Oh, it's not a bad idea. I'm not sure, honestly, that it's like entirely necessary here. What do I know, huh? I'm just... Oops. DIY. DIY person. So my plan is to come back for all of these and uh, put Dicor on it. But I'll, I'll wait and do that until after actually verify everything that's completely functional. I'm doing my best while I'm up here to kind of hang on to my trash. I don't want to completely like litter bomb the place with all of my of my dropping. But saying that, I just had something fly off the roof, so yeah. I'm doing what I can do. Since these are not structural, my thought really is, you know, seems like I've got it anchored down pretty well, all the cables now. I'll keep a few spare, and then if we have issues, I'll have a little kit I can just pull out and come up here and anchor things down. Hopefully we won't. Alright, let's put the solar panel back down. And this is a nice feature of the solar panels with the hinges from AM Solar. Uh, literally, that it's on a hinge. So, these literally, I, I took off the two, whatever these are, took them off the ends and I could swing the whole uh, panel up. I'll show you versus the panel that I got uh, when we bought the RV. Uh, I have to take off like all four of these on the sides because it like locks onto the top. There's no no hinge. So this is, uh, it's a nice little configuration. Last week we were parked literally just one spot over from where we are now. And uh, whatever the tree was, the tree was dropping like some sticky, sticky pollen. Just coated everything. It seems like this is a nice opportunity for me to do a quick wipe down. I just pumped out the, the breaker right here. Uh, so this is 20 watts. Uh, 
it's more of a trickle charger than anything else. So I, I may come back later on after everything else is functional. I may come back and say, okay, I'll just go ahead and wire this one in to the, the cable box up here on the roof. Uh, but at the moment, it was just easier for me. Like once I disconnected this, I have no power coming down on the existing system right now, existing, existing wires. Uh, so that should be like zero. Because my next step, I'll be disconnecting all of the wires that came from this panel and from this panel. And I need to just set them aside. So it's easier for me just knowing like, okay, it's completely de-energized. This is what it looks like. New panel, new panel, old panel, old panel. Got a new box up here for all the lines to go into. So previously, we fed down here uh, to the uh, the batteries. So the addition this time is we've added the cable box here and then just the two panels. So I think that's it. Oh, 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 yeah. So these that is the uh, we got four of them, right? So that's where the old panel was located. So I still need to come back up. I would need to clean off all the dried up die core. I'm just going to run eight bolts into this to completely make sure it's sealed, and then I'll put die core on top of that. So I still have die core work to do here. I still have die core work to do here and here. And then I have one panel, one support bracket, whatever you want to call it, over there that will need die core as well. So Saving it all for doing it at the same time. Really, we need to make sure everything is functional. This is the benefit of doing this project in the summer. That's what I was waiting for. Well, I'm not paranoid, oh, it's gonna rain tonight. And I would have leak issues occurring. So, yeah, it's a plus and a minus. Next week, solar charge co controller, inverter. I'm gonna try to wrap this up in one day I'll give you some foreshadowing but next week <laughs> <laughs> next week solar charge controller and inverter look forward to seeing you then see you everybody thanks for watching